Hey guys, I hope everybody is having a good Wednesday. This is a haul video, but first I wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving to everyone and to all of my subscribers and the YouTube crafty community. Um, thank you for watching my videos. I'm very thankful for all of you all and the comments you leave and, you know, just the spirit of, you know, the crafting community here on YouTube. Um, so that being said, um, let me show you what I got today. There's quite a few things, and you're not going to believe it. So, <laughs> well, maybe some of you might. I don't know. Um, so first first off, I did get some uh, mail today. I purchased some um, inks um, from Uzak. And this is the Unicorn White. And, of course, I've been watching all of Jennifer McGuire's uh, videos of her favorite crafty things. And so... Um, these I got from Uzak because they had a better price than the other two stores that she had advertised. Um, so Hero Arts Shadow Ink. Um, this is the Pumpkin Midtone. And I also got the Just Rust and the Navy. So those are the four inks that I had purchased from Uzak. Um, so today my hubby and I, we were going to the post office to drop off some packages. Afterward, um, we decided to go eat some Indian food. Um, they have a really nice um, vegetarian place. And on the way, or really close by, is actually a um, thrift store. And it's one that we don't visit as often just because of where it's located. But we decided to go there before we went to dinner. So we did stop in, and boy, did I hit the jackpot. But um, And I'll insert some video here. Um, and then I'll show you what I got at Harbor Freight because he wanted to go to Harbor Freight as well. Um, so let me show you what I got at Harbor Freight. Um, actually, he purchased this for me. This is one of those spinners. Um, and it's $20. It's all metal. And he offered to put it together for me. And he's going to paint it um, white because he actually has a paint shop in his shop back there and he's got the you know the the gun and everything so he can paint this metal um with the um paint that he has cuz he's got automotive paint so he's going to paint this white after he puts it together um and before he actually assembles the tower pieces so next you see that it may be white or some other color so i got that and uh, that was $19.99, and then I got these uh, magnetic hooks for my Rascog cart, because actually this is what I wanted to use, and these were only $2.50 for the package, so I got two packages of that. So let me stop here, and I'm going to show you the bags that I got at the thrift store, and I don't want to make anybody dizzy, so let me pull this out. Okay, so I'm going to cover the camera for a second. Okay, and show you my big mess. This, there's five bags here. And each of these bags is full of crafty goodies. Um, and so I pulled out some of the things. I'm going to have to go through everything first before I actually show you what it, what's all in here. But this bag, and you can tell a crafter donated all this stuff. So this bag was priced at $1.59. And everything was 10% off today because it's Wednesday. The last Wednesday of the month, I think is when they have the 10% off, or it's every Wednesday, I'm sorry. Um, so the first thing you see is this Jumbo Brads, but you know, you turn over these bags, lots of goodies in here. I didn't just get these type of bags. There's This is another bag. This one is marked a dollar, 99 cents, and you can see, mm, let me turn it over. There's stickers. Um, in here all kinds of goodies so I'm gonna have to open each bag and go through them and decide if there's stuff that I don't want to keep um, and uh, decide what I want to do so for example I know by the packaging that's on the back of this right here this is Heidi Swap these are the ghost um, shapes that she did before she um, started all of the other lines that she has but um, these are the ghost stars, so they're acrylic stars that are clear or transparent that you can put on pages um, for scrapbooking and stuff. So there's flowers in here. There's all kinds of stuff in here. I do have stamp sets too. 
So this person was also a stamper. Um, but they didn't have any stamp pad. They had one stamp pad that I found. Um, so there's five bags of goodies. I'll go through it all and then I'll show you what I got after I've got it somewhat organized. So, um, so be right I've back. through all of the bags that I purchased today. And not everything was those little bags. So some of the stuff I got separately. Um, but I'll show you what I got. For some reason, in one of the bags that I purchased, there was this little um, Talenti spoon. And Talenti is... Um, what do you call it? Um, Italian gelato. Whoops, sorry. Um, and it had like a cozy for it in leather, which is kind of funny. So now I have this little spoon, which I can use for the little micro beads or for some embossing powders, um, which is kind of nice. It's a little spoon. Um, what you heard me uh, messing around with is this tin container, which I got. Nice, um, nice round cylinder container which I plan to use for something. It was 60 cents. Um, dominoes. I got lots of dominoes. These were a dollar. So I got several packages of those and I have shared some of the ones that I had gotten out. And these have not been opened, so in case you're wondering. I also got this tin. Um, it was 59 cents. Um... And I got this container, and actually Jennifer McGuire showed this. It's a craftsmate, craftmate container. See that? And it has little four cubbies in it, and you push the button, and the lids will pop open um, individually. So, see? So, this was a dollar. So, there must have been a crafty person who gave up their hobby, or unfortunately might have passed away. Um because there was a lot of crafty goodies. So let me just continue with the haul. Um, I got these, and I've never seen these before. These are like, um, they're kind of, they're they're called Dauber Duos. They're, they look a lot like gelatos, but I don't think they're, they're foamy on the top. So there's color in the tips. And um, they're double-sided. And there's a couple of them in here. And then there's these wood peg um, daubers, which I can just replace with some foam um, ends on that. So I can use those. And then there was this, which is the color box um, foam pads. And they've got the tool on the end here. Um, I don't even have that, but there's this might be neat to try out. Um, I got a wax seal, which you can see the pattern right here. That's what is at the bottom of this here, and then there's some wax. And um, I'm going to try that out. Um, I got these two sets of Marvi Uchida embossing markers, but I don't know how these work. So we're going to test that out. Um, Victorian set and pastel set, so two different sets of colors. And the boxes I don't think are open. So I got those. I got one huge <laughs> big and juicy um pad and you can see the colors that are in it it's a graduating color so it goes from this teal color to the purple um so i got that i've got a whole bunch of die cuts which i probably am not going to use so there's a whole bunch here and then these back here which are sentiments thank you Thank you, and then there's a happy birthday in there. So, I got those. Um, some dimensional flowers, and that's just the tip of the iceberg on that one. That's some chipboard um, letters. Look, they're from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and, um, of course, that's what they look like. And then so these are chipboard, and I think these are K and Company. These were 79 cents. Actually, they were cheaper than that because they were 10% off. So, got that. Um, I got this little tin, and I picked it up, and I could hear it, so I was like, oh, what's in here? This was a dollar. So there's a whole bunch of different little beads and charms down in here, and jump rings. I'm trying to get the glare out of there and see if I can focus as well. So there's some charms in this one and in this one. And I'll show you this, because I have another container of it, but... Um, these are little like round caps 
They're not bead caps. They're like eyelets, but they're rounded. And I've never seen them before, so going to be interesting on that one. So there's little googly eyes down in there. And these are all beads. And there's a star in there. And some little fine, some little pieces in there. I don't know what those are either. So that was a dollar for that tin. Um, I got these little corners for photos. And these are all, these are Heidi Swap. There's two boxes here. Or actually, there's three boxes. Look at that. They're all different colors. I don't know if I'll use those, but some tags and these are from Hobby Lobby also look at that um, this was in one of the bags it wasn't a dollar ninety nine obviously got a peacock feather for eighty cents this um, decorative paper cords and this was eighty cents they're all different colors um, some vintage paper ephemera see that and um, this was 80 cents. And it looks like these are from um, Provocraft originally. So, because I got two packages, and you can see this is the original packaging. Some doilies. Um, so, some of these were in the packages that were marked a dollar. Basic gray findings or ephemera pack. Um, these are like pockets, tag pockets. Um, little folders. This is, I don't know what this is. It's like a kit. I don't think I'll be keeping that. This is some papers. Origami paper. So I got this double-sided paper. And it doesn't even look like it's been opened. This is like, um, I think it's all solid. There's 36 colors. And then this, this paper as well. And it's really pretty. I love that. Um, Vicky had given me some of this, I believe, in another, in one of her racks that she sent to me. And so I got some of those. And then um, some doilies. These are gold doilies. Um, leaves, skeleton leaves in different colors. So this one, these cream ones. And there's a multi pack here. It looks like gold and blue. Some more doilies. So this crafter wasn't just a scrapbooker, you can tell by how much was in here. This was 59 cents, this whole package of doilies. And it's acid-free, it says. It doesn't say how many are in here. It has a whole thing on it, how to make an angel on the back. <laughs> so, anyway... That was there, and then I got this book, which is a little binder, and it says um, Club Scrap. But the reason I purchased the book is not because they have all of this stuff in here. These are just pages. But in the back, there's these templates. And that is the reason I bought this book. This book has tons of templates in here. And the one I like the most, let me show you. Let me see if I can put behind it. Um, sorry, guys. If I put behind it a piece of paper, maybe this thing. Um, it's even got word templates. It's got little scene building things. This is the one I like the most. It's like uh, a dancing pattern. I don't know if you can see that really well. It's a really solid piece of paper. Sorry, guys, it's really not so good. Look at that. <laughs> Little dancing steps. Isn't that cute? Actually, I can just take it out. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's not better. <laughs> that's worse. I'm trying not to drop this box that's next to me over. There we go. Look at that. Funny, huh? And I have a stamp that looks like that from Tim Holtz. Which I haven't used yet. <laughs> so there's a whole bunch of templates in this little binder. Um, and the binder was a dollar. So that was a great find. So um, let me also show you the stack of stamps. 
So the stamps that I got, oh, first let me show you this. This was 80 cents. This is a Sizzlitz die. So here's the font. That was a great find. I didn't find any more of those. I wish I had. And this is all Christmas stamps. So there's this one, which is like a little Christmas tree stocking, a present, and then some sentiments. This one, which isn't even open, from Martha Stewart. I think I'm good on Christmas stamps now. This one, this looks like an Inka Dinka Doo. This one here. And I should do this. This one here. I'm actually standing up, guys. So this one's a Christmas and fall one, winter. That's nice to have. I like that. This one here. It's Christmas. And these were all inside of one package, by the way. So this was marked a dollar. So I got like 12 stamp sets for a dollar. Can you believe that? So I'm good on stamp sets for a very long time, by the way. And then this last one, which... Not that great of condition, but that's okay. Out of all those, I mean, I think I have time to show you the rest of them. So this is a Stampin' Up! set. Rooster, bottles, and chicken. Or, not chicken, chick. Here's another set, which is harder to show. This was marked a dollar, too. Different um, nature stuff. And then these these are all new. So... 79 cents, I believe, for each of these. So these. This one is a dollar. The entire alphabet. And these are about two inches tall. Maybe three, two and a half. The numbers. They're really big numbers. This set right here, this is a dollar. Because again, they're not used, they're new. And this one was 79 cents. Now I'll show you the back because this has really nice sentiments on it. Let's see if I can focus. So there's different um, quotes by um, famous people. Oprah Winfrey, um, Dr. Martin Luther King, Frank Lloyd Wright. You can't turn back the clock, but you can wind it up again. That's really nice. So, age is a matter of feeling, not of years. So that one, and then there's this Fiskars one, which I might have already, I'm not sure. This one is 59 cents. Again, this was new. So that's a really nice one. There's this one, which is um, all the days of the week, and the months of the year, and the numbers, so you can make a calendar. And then here's the rest of the calendar. <laughs> um, different um, stamp set, but again, and then they even have the calendar shape. So that's kind of nice, too. So those are the stamp sets that I got. I'm going to stop here, and I'm going to show you the box of other goodies. Okay? Hi, guys. So right I thought I'd show you what I put into this box. This box is also part of the haul that I got. It is all of the different embellishments um, that were in all of the packages that I got. And, you know, I got to say, there's a lot here. Um, some I'll use and some I won't use, so I'll be, um, you know, doing some sorting. But there's a, there's some Christmas stuff in here. I actually bought this bag separately because I like the colors in here and wanted to use that for some projects I want to work on. So this bag was a dollar. So it's got some of the crystal beads and then some, um, what do you call this? I forget what you call this. <laughs> you know what I mean. This is for like a Christmas tree. Um, there's some felting stuff in here. So I'm going to try and get in camera here. Some of the needles, um, some of the actual wool. 
And I don't do any of that, but I've always wanted to, you know, kind of learn to do some more of that. Um, there's even, you know, little butterflies. This person must have loved butterflies because there's a lot of butterflies in here. Um, if you look at all of this, all of this is butterflies, different colors. Um, there's even some flowers in here in a container. Um, you know, these cost probably four dollars for a bag. This is 80 cents um, for this container of fabric flowers. And there are even some little leaves in there, little pink leaves down in there too that are acrylic. Um, there's some making memories frames. These are all metal frames. Some of those. Um, I don't know where, she, maybe she got these from Stampin' Up, but there's like these little tags, um, felt stars, um, all kinds of embellishments. There's eyelets, eyelets, little googly eyes. These are those little round things again that I don't know, um, focus on that. They're, um, kind of like an eyelet, but there's little prongs on them. And it's not a hole, so it's like a little metal disc once you put it the prongs down through the paper. So it's kind of neat. I've never seen these before. Um, more eyelets, um, some clock hands. Go figure. Um, there's brads in here, flower brads. Um, these little metal fasteners. This is really cute. Um, let's see. Whoops. Wrapping stuff. There's a whole bunch of Christmas stuff in here, too. I tried to section it out. Um, there's some snowflakes. Um, there's stickers. There's little bows. Um, all kinds of Christmas goodies. Um, there's even a whole bunch of buttons. This is interesting. These are little tags, um, but there's glass in here. And the weight of the glass, I can feel it. Like, this one's etched with that dragonfly on it. But this is glass. I can feel it by the weight. It's not plastic. And it's still got the paper on it, so you just peel it back, I think. Um, there's a whole bunch of buttons and such. And she obviously organized by color, because these are all white. There's a bag of green. There's a bag of blue. Um... What is this? These are little acrylic flowers. So there's a whole ton of stuff in here. There's even um, charm hangers or ornament hangers. These are, these are really nice. These will be good for chunky charms. Um, and it says $1.99 on here, but these were not $1.99. They were in the bags that were marked a dollar. Some little felt flowers, and there's different colors of these. Um, so... I organized that into the box so that I could kind of go through it in a better way. Um, the other thing I got was stickers. And so let me do this. I'm going to move the camera around. Let's see. And I'm sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy. I'm going to move the camera around so I can angle it down on the, on the stickers. Sorry, guys. So what I did was I took these stickers and put them into this um, iris bin. Before I show you that, let me also show you some of the other things that were in those bags as well. These are little star charms. Cute, huh? And little flower charms. They're made from shells. Um, some jewelry findings. There's head pin bags in here. They're not even open. Um, and they're marked a dollar even though... All of this stuff was inside of a bag that was marked a dollar. So there's that. There's some more head pins that are even longer. And then there are these um, corners. They're like um, picture corners that you can crimp together. So those are kind of cool. Um, and then there's these rings. I think these are like frames and rings. Yep. And I got two little doilies. These were included. So there's this one, which is a triangle, and this one, which is round. 
Those were cute. Those were in the bags. Um, I don't know if I showed the punch. There's a little butterfly punch that was in there. Really cute. It's from EK Success. Okay, so here's the sticker bin. All of this stuff is stickers or rub-ons. And so um, some of this stuff is used. Some of this stuff is new. Like this one. It's new in the package. And you can see at Hobby Lobby it was $1.50. Um, and there's a pretty one. But there's some really cool things in here. Um, some of this stuff I actually own. Um, there's some Martha Stewart flowers. I know that because I have these. Um, some border strips made from felt. That's some Christmas. Um, let's see if I can focus better down in there. There we go. Um, lots of rub-ons. See, soft-spoken. These are Mambi. So there's a whole bunch of stickers in here. And I'm going to just go through them and decide what I want to keep. Um, but you can see that some of it is new and some of it's used. She obviously loved butterflies. I say she, but I mean, I would think this person probably had a child or grandchild because there's a lot of kids stickers in here too. Um, and there was probably a boy because, um, there's some Spider-Man stickers. <laughs> so yeah, there's quite a few stickers in here and I just organized it into the bin. So that is what I got in the haul at the thrift store. And I hope you liked the video. And um, I'll be talking to you guys soon. Talk to you soon and have a great Thanksgiving and eat lots of turkey. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.